Hey, hello world. So welcome to my code file channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Django Rift framework. So let's get started. So first thing first, I will need to create a virtual environment in my computer. So let me go to the command prompt. In this command prompt, I need to install a virtual environment first. In this way, we can able to install a virtual environment. Yeah, so I have done something wrong over here. Yeah, so in my case, I have already installed a virtual environment in my computer. If you don't have, you can install it. Yeah, so after installing this virtual environment, you can able to create a virtual environment, right? So you can able to see that I have already created a virtual environment. I have given the name as my VNV. Right. So in this folder, I want to create some project that is related to Django. And all those dependency will be going to download, will be going to install all those things inside this virtual environment actually. So let me go to this folder first. Now I'm inside this project. So now I want to activate this virtual environment actually. So I have already installed a virtual environment, but I need to activate this. So the command is dot my virtual environment name, my PNP scripts. Event dot back. Now you can able to see that I have already successfully I have uh, created a virtual environment and I activated also. Now, now I need to install all the dependency which is related to Django project. The first I need to install it install Django. So in my virtual environment, I have already installed all those things. And the next thing we need to install Django test framework. So this one I have already installed actually. So you can able to see all the dependency I have already installed in this virtual environment. Right. So you can able to see that this Django is already installed and this Django REST framework. Right. So now I want to create a project first. So with the help of Django, so let me tell you that. Uh, we have already one of this uh, project name is my first project, but I don't want to use this. I want some different project name, right? So I want to give some, I want to create some project. So Django admin, and I want to start some project, start project. I need to give the name of the project. So you can able to give any name of the project, and, but in my case, I want to keep code file. Yeah, so I have already successfully, I have already created the project. So inside this, you can able to see, give the project actually. Inside this project, you can able to see ASGI setting URLs WSGI, all are the .py file. So don't worry about this. I'm going to talk about all those things in my next video. Yeah. So first, 
I want to go inside this project. P code five. Yeah. Now you can able to see I am inside this project. And there is the manage.py file, there is the code five project name actually. So I have already created a virtual environment. I have already installed a dependency of the project that is a Django REST framework and Django. Now the next thing I want to run the server. For running the server, there is a command is there, python manage.py. There is nothing but this file actually I'm using for managing all those Django projects. Now I need to do run server. Uh, sorry, python manage.py run server. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I have done some mistake over here. Manage file name is wrong actually. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. So server is actually running now. Now you can able to use this URL for checking that server is actually running or not. So I'm going to one of my browser. I will have so now I need to test it over here. Now I want to check. Yeah. So the server is successfully running now. The installed works successfully. Congratulations. Yeah. So we have already done all those things. We have already successfully running the server. So that's it from this video. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and do appreciate me while doing this. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you.